Jorel Miller. First of all, talk to me about this. I, I saw that his trainer tried to shake your hand and you told him to go away at the end. Why was that? Yeah, because all week they've been taunting Daniel yeah, and myself to a certain degree. And don't sell the horrible, nasty, vile things you've been saying. Then you want to come and shake my hand? No. Um, I'm an old guy. I'm 62 year old. Don't insult me. You want to come and shake my hands afterwards? No. Okay. That was the response of Don Charles as he refused to shake the trainer of Jarrell Miller's hand after he, um, after his fighter beat Jarrell Miller. And I have to say, that is bad sportsmanship. Okay, now I understand you're a little bitter, but you just won. Your fighter just beat the undefeated American brash ex-drug cheat. And you should be happy about that. Your your fighter has received a victory, you know, earned a victory, rather. And I think, you know, if they're extending their hand in good sportsmanship, you should do the same. And it just shows you that that's bad sportsmanship. You know, that's bad character. You know, you're saying, oh, well, I'm 62 years old. Don't insult me and try to shake my hand. Well, I mean, you should know that things should be all forgiven after a fight. If your fighter, Danny Dubois, was able to look at Jarrell Miller and said, hey, you know, we could be brothers after this, after Jarrell Miller congratulated your fighter, you should be able to do the same. Seems to me that they're not really equally yoked because if Danny Dubois had his same type of uh, attitude or personality, we would have probably had close to a near riot in that fight. Or should I say after that fight? Um I don't like the bad sportsmanship from either end. I don't think it's bad sportsmanship to talk trash. I don't. You know, uh, the only thing that would warrant Don Charles not shaking his hand if uh, Jarrell Miller would still say, you know what, F you, forget you, this, that, and the other, don't try to shake my hand afterwards because they've now, they've premeditated how they would be after a fight, win, lose, or draw. You know, but in this case, you know, Jarrell Miller, like a good sportsman, you know, of, of new, you know, came up and, and him and his team want to congratulate your team and you won. At least you can do is shake the man's hand and give that man and that fighter respect after going 10 hard rounds against your fighter that ultimately stopped it at the very, very end of the fight. So I do disagree with Don Charles. I think he may being as he says he's old, you know, maybe taking things too personally. You know, maybe taking things to the point that he shouldn't or taking it past the point that he shouldn't take it past, you know, and uh, I just think that was uncalled for. I had to counterpunch that on Don Charles because, you know, you can see he's intense and, you know, and as you can tell, he likes to hold grudges, you know, so that's one thing you can pick up from a trainer and be careful with guys like that because guys like that could, you know, be in you know, a certain attack mode. And let's say it didn't go his way. You know, I remember after the Usyk fight, Don Charles was, you know, pretty much blastful to everyone and everything, you know, talking about pressing charges, calling Usyk cheats and this, that, and the other. Yeah, he goes to the extreme. And I think he is very high strung and very unforgiven. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Don Charles refusing to shake Team Miller's hand in victory. Of course, please subscribe and you guys can counterpunch. Peace.